Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to guide you how you can easily use Airtable for content planning. So the first thing you want to do is just click here on templates when you're going to be in workspaces. Here you want to uh, write content calendar and you're going to see right here content calendar. So you want to click on it and when you're going to do it click here on the use template. So I'm going to show you like two ways how you can do this. Okay, choose a workspace where you want it, add a base. And here when you have it, here we go. So what we can actually find here and how we can... Okay, I'm going to close this, close this, how we can use this. So here you're going to find views under content, plan content pipeline. You have a view uh, in which you're going to find like a name. So let's say uh, this is uh, see all your content in one place. Stay up with the date with your content and see author workspace workloads. So I'm going to find testing best part practices or spending on security webinar. Then you're going to choose simply planning here if it's an in progress on hold reviews planning headline subheadline, creator, due date, and then channels. Where do you want to actually post it? So let's say we are going to create ourselves together a new name, which is going to get called uh, YouTube video, right? YouTube video. And here I have YouTube video status is going to be, I can choose in progress on hold review. So let's say in progress. Then I'm going to have headline, which is going to be how to use Airtable for free. Subheadline can be like the description of it. So I can add Air. This is Airtable tutorial. And it's like I can write your subheadline. Then you have a simple creator, and creator is going to be me. Then you would simply upload an image here. So it can be, let's go like this one here. And then you're going to find a due date. And let's see, I'm going to the 27th and channels. So I'm going to sort it out the remove due date here. And then you have to add the channels. So I'm going to click here and let's say I don't have an option here. So what I will do, I will simply click here, customize the field type. And I'm going to even add an option here like YouTube and save. So now when you have it, I can click here on channels, click here plus and YouTube. So voila, here we have our own uh, like own task in Sion content. So this is a great way to do it. And then you're going to see the see all for workloads. What does it mean that in this view, uh, you're going to have the group it by creators. So let's say that you can have multiple people and they are working on multiple things and you can have it easily. You can find everything here to who is what like assigned, right? So that's something you can do, which is pretty effective. And that's pretty much it. Then you can have the stay up to date and I see like YouTube video in progress here. Like what I have to do, what needs to be done. And then you're going to find the results on the top here. You're going to find the see results at glance and you would have, let's say a content calendar with ads, right? And you, you would have a campaign result that you can easily uh, get from Facebook, Google, that's like up to you. And you would have really good analytics here. So this is the first way how we can use the content calendar, which is pretty effective, I think. But let's uh, get another template, another marketplace that we can see and try it out. So I can go to content calendar. And this is like the exact that we used so I can add social media calendar. That's another one that I recommend to definitely check. And it's going to be also really similar. So add a base. Right here. 
Yeah, I didn't want to add any of this. Close. Okay, here we got it. Social media calendar. I got to find the views. And I have, again, option. Manage content across channels. So again, what do I, what do I have here? A topic. Let's say YouTube video. Here I have a date. So let's say it's going to be 25. Status. If it's an in progress on hold planning organic post evergreen post. So this is an evergreen post type of post evergreen content. Again, you can easily choose that then channels. And I have Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. But again, I don't have any YouTube here. So I will click here. Customize field type. And I'm going to add YouTube. Now, if you have posts, which is going to be posted on Facebook and also Instagram, you can have it like here too also. So plus here, YouTube, I would add a copy that I would simply add an image, the social media owner, request their name and notes about posts, right? So this is how we have it. And this is how we have it. And here you can also have the take requests from partners. So right here, you can have the field, the social media owner, the channels, the notes about posts, type of po posts. And here you can easily uh, share it with someone like open form. And they're gonna fill it out. So description, your name, due date, proposed copy, and image. So this is a little bit better comparing to the past one, but you can always share the form. So let's say we want to have this form on our different or the content calendar before because you liked it more. You can easily share it with with password embed the form on your side, right? Or you can create like literally the same thing on the Airtable before that we have the content calendar. So these are the two ways how I believe that you can do really great content management. Of course, you can go even deeper. So you can choose only on Facebook. So let's say that you have social media calendar and you know that you're going to use a lot of Facebook and Facebook posting. So you can have a view or an empty table called Facebook and have literally everything what you need from social media calendar right here. So you would have a status, a type of post, then you would have a headline copy image. So you would add everything from here, here in Facebook, and you would get like to do uh, in progress done. Then you would have Instagram, then you would have YouTube. So you can have like every single table, every single table here uh, regards one of the social media, like TikTok, right? And then you can easily assign people. So this is for if you're alone, this is perfect to manage content across channels. But if you have multiple people, use definitely uh, the option to create the tables if you want me to. So I can create even for the marketing agency or I can create a tables like this. So let's say I have a name which is going to be a name of the Facebook post right then I can add a headline then assignee status to do in progress done I can add date of publishing date include time create a field I'm going to move it then I can simply add also plus here and I can simply also add attachment. So assets. Okay, we got it. Create a field. And now what else we can add here headline. Uh, and also adding copy. So what I will do, I will simply also add a copy. long text. And voila, here we got it. So like this, our Facebook post. Now let's say that I have a status, 
uh, in progress and what I will do I'm going to group it by status and here we are in progress empty or I can you can sort it out by but group by status is the best thing right so let's say that I would have this one as a done right I have to do done and then let's say I have like another task which is going to be in progress and voila so this is how you can have it group by field let's say these are the tasks and you can have a really clear, clear way how you can use it for content management. So this is how we can use the Airtable for content management. Thank you very much guys for watching. I hope you're going to have a great day. And yeah, thank you very much and goodbye. See ya.